Barely 30 days after the resumption of flight operations across the country post the COVID-19 lockdown, there are sad tales of job cuts for pilots as well as aviation engineers by major airlines such as Airpeace, Asman, Caverton and Bristol Helicopters. Monday, August 3rd. Airpeace sacked at least 70 pilots out of its 3,000 employees and announced a 40% salary cut. This development necessitates this all-important press conference by the National Association of Aircraft Pilots and Engineers. Mr. Gautas has rendered our members redundant despite assurances by the government of support for their businesses in return for the operators not playing off staff. These operators are already running on very lean manpower with disproportionate number of business batteries. A major concern here is not only the seemingly arbitrary displacement of Nigerian staff in favor of foreigners, but the proposed 80% pay cut over the dwindling earnings occasioned by the COVID-19 pandemic, which pilots are now rejecting. Bristol helicopters, we actually know for a man to wake up in the morning and you're telling him that his job is no longer there. We know both psychological and economic uh, uh, negativity is going to have our members. The National Association of Aircraft Pilots and Engineers is not alone in this. They have the backings of the leadership of the National Labour Congress. We have a law that says that before you declare redundancy, before you execute redundancy in Nigeria, before you terminate the, the, uh, the, the job of workers, you must do A and B and C. You must inform the union. The union must sit with you and you convince the union that these jobs are redundant. When you have convinced the union, then you will negotiate with the union the terms of this redundancy. Has this been done? It has not been done. And you find airlines waking up and deciding that they are, that they are terminating the jobs of people arbitrarily. An injury to one is an injury to all. This is the common emotion of the National Association of Aircraft Pilots and Engineers as it threatens to embark on an industrial action should its demands not be met. We are giving them two weeks, uh, two weeks for government, uh, uh, relevant government agencies to intervene. Uh, hopefully they will, but if they, uh, if they don't, you know the only thing available to labor is to withdraw our services. That's what we have to offer. Mary Chinda reporting for Plus TV Africa.